Hi everybody, it's me Mrs. Carter and today we're going to color in our Y tree. So I have a black crayon. Now you don't have to use black crayon, you can use any color that you'd like. I recommend a dark colored crayon so that you can cover over your pencil lines. So I'm going to show you two different ways to color in your tray. So I'm going to bring you down and show you what I'm talking about. All right, here is my Y tray. Now I can choose to color in my branches. So if I colored in my branches, I would outline the pencil line and then color right inside. So that's one choice. And then my empty space, which we call that negative space in art, that's all the space that is left behind, would be this white area. So everywhere I'm coloring my branches in black, all that white area would be called negative space. Now my other choice is I could come over on this side and I could color in the background, that space behind my tray, and I would do the same thing. I would outline it in and then I would color this side. So if I'm gonna color my background, that means I'm gonna leave my branches white. And wherever my branches are white, that's where the paint is going to stick. So I get to decide which way I want to do, or if you want to do both sides, you totally could. So to color in half with your tree branches filled in with the positive space, that's where it gets filled, or your background is the positive, you could do both. So to do that, I'm going to draw a line right through the middle of my tray, and I'm going to jump my background. As you can see, and I will go right here. So this side is gonna be all the tree branches. All the branches will get colored in. So here, I'm gonna color in all my branches, and then on this side, I'm gonna color in all the background space. So you can do a half and half like me, or you can just pick one style. You can color your background in with the positive space, or you can color your tree branches in with the positive space. Now, as you're coloring, I recommend that you don't move your hand really big. You color little, 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 and you take your time. You want good craftsmanship. That means that your work looks nice and neat. So as you can see, I'm filling in my background, or over here, I'm coloring in my tree branches. So you decide what style you want to do. I'm going to do this in fast motion so you can see it happen. Here is my Y tree all colored in. Whew, my hand hurts from that. So my tip for you is to come back and really look at everything and see if there's any little pencil lines that you wanna cover and make a little bit smoother. Remember, you're looking for a really good craftsmanship when you're making your art. So don't skip this step because this is the last final touch. It only takes a few minutes to just look over and make sure that you didn't get any little pencil lines that you could recover up again. So now I have my positive space with the tree branches here and my negative space, that empty space as the background, and then the opposite here. My positive space is the background and my negative space is these empty white tree branches. All I have left to do is color it in. Now I can choose any kind of color. I could do markers, pencils, crayons, colored pencils. I'm going to use marker and I'm going to do that technique where I add water to it. So as you can see, I only colored in a few spots because I'm going to move the water around and I'm going to add a little bit of orange and then a little bit of red. And I'm gonna use these colors, they're going to mix together. So these colors look really nice together because they're all next to each other on the color wheel. That's how I make orange, red and yellow. So these colors will mix and blend together really, really nicely. So I'm gonna do all my warm colors on this side. 
the reds and the yellows and the oranges. And on this side, I can do the same thing. I can pick different colors or I can pick the same. I'm gonna pick the same. And remember with marker, if I add water to this, it's gonna turn it into paint. I could also just use watercolor paints if you have those at home. That would be really nice with this. But some friends don't have any paint at home and that's okay. But if you have markers, you can use it like paint. We've been doing that so much lately because it's so easy and it's really fun. Add some yellow lines. And I can always add more colors later. But I'm gonna add my paintbrush and move this around. So let's see how I'm going to paint it. Don't forget to get a cup of clean water and a paintbrush. All right, I have my clean water cup and my paintbrush. And now I'm gonna come over to this side. And as you can see, everywhere I put water, the marker is going to fill in the empty spaces. But where the crayon is, the crayon won't get covered because it has wax in it, just like a candle has wax in it. And so all the empty white spaces fill in really nicely. And if I don't wanna see those lines anymore, I just add more water and they should fade a little bit. That turns out really nice. And then on this side, let's see what happens when I add more water. Remember, all these colors work really well together. So this would be a good choice for color blending. If you look on a color wheel, which if you Google one, you can see one will pop right up. Yellow and red make orange. So those are good color choices to put next to each other. Another awesome color choice for this project would be reds and blues you would make purples or you could do yellows and blues to make shades of green so i'm just going to keep adding water and moving it around i'm going to do the rest of this in super fast motion so you can see me finish it up I hope you had so much fun making your Y tree. Here's what mine looks like all finished with all my warm colors. And I can't wait to see what you create with yours. Remember, if you don't have paints, no big deal. You can use markers and water. You could always color this in just in crayon or leave it in pencil. Up to you. I can't wait to see what you make. See you soon. Bye.